I'm Mike, N2MAK, and I'm at the Antique Wireless Museum in Bloomfield, New York. Let's go check it out. A barn in Spencerport, New York was the birthplace of the Antique Wireless Museum in 1952. Three men's passions for collecting radios and electronic equipment became what is now known as the Antique Wireless Association. From that humble beginning, the AWA has grown into an organization of more than 1,000 members worldwide. Now located in Bloomfield, New York, the museum has 6,000 square feet of space in the main building, plus others for storage. But this is more than just some old radio museum. Inside, you will find a world-class collection and knowledgeable staff that transport visitors back in time to explore and discover the history of radio technologies. It features radio technologies that are a part of our everyday life, like the first cell phone, broadcast radio and television. There is the first transistor radio built by Bell Labs in 1951. The first remote controlled radio with a rotary dial, phonographs, and televisions. There is an exhibit dedicated to the Western Union Telegram. Their Voice of America display includes a 250,000 watt Collins shortwave transmitter and other memorabilia. There's even a replica of the radio room on the Titanic military radios, and radio teletype. And there's plenty of amateur radio nuggets of joy, including QSL cards and radios. There's a 1,000 watt spark gap transmitter. A 1915 radio store counter includes tubes, and other parts. There are even tube testers, which all the drugstores used to have. And of course, a display of radios made right here in Rochester, New York, by the likes of Strongbird Carlson and RF Communications, better known today as L3 Harris. And if that's not enough, there's even a ham shack with radios from all decades. That was in progress when I visited, but they cut the ribbon shortly after. If you love radio like me, I really do hope you get a chance to get out here and visit, and maybe even get on the air. Every item and display has a story behind it. What began over seven decades ago has evolved into the world's premier museum for communication and entertainment technology history. This was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it too. I'll leave some links below to the Antique Wireless Museum. Uh, definitely check it out, especially if you're in uh, uh, the Finger Lakes region in New York. I, I, I've had an awesome time. I can't wait to come back again. I gotta bring my son and, uh, and uh, check it out and spend a little bit more time. But uh, again, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, click like, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment or question down below. I'll do my best to respond. I'm Mike, N2MAK73.